Hey Cancer, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you are well. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. All of your show of support means so much to me. And I do hope you continue to hit the like button, share the video with those you love and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Now I feel like you could be going through sleepless nights, mental torment, feeling doubt feeling like karma is taking you or you're uncertain about some unfortunate events going on in your life you want a change i feel like you want a change in your life a complete change so you're starting over i feel like you're leaving a lot behind cancerian and i do feel something is moving into you with the six of swords energy it could be this wheel of fortune like things that you felt that you have lost or something that you hoped for but you just haven't seen it showing up in your life as much as you want you may be worried about this it could be something about your comfort or having that peace of mind or that rose i feel like you could be going through anxiety and stress from time to time with the white hair um because they say when you stress your hair turns green all right, this could also be another person that's thinking about you and is feeling like they lost a beautiful opportunity to be with you because you left. But I want to look at this um, energy of something actually moving into you. It feels like a river, something coming into you on the river. That's the force, that's the energy in which it is moving in. And it feels like it's a lot of cargo. It's coming into you across water. It could be a person or a thing. And let's take a look at what this is. Oh, the Six of Swords repeated. This card is, and it's coming into you very quickly. It's going to make you happy. Maybe, as, maybe it's something that you've been worried about. You're wondering when it's going to get there. So it's like your fortune is right behind you. It's a coming. It's a coming. So have more faith, I think, you know. Have more faith exactly with that card about aligning with something that you want and it's going to make you happy you see moving from the nine of swords to the nine of hearts energy cancer so this is definitely about to make you happy oh I hear the word surprise that's why it's coming up on you like that it's going to be a surprise a surprise shipment perhaps it's going to cheer you up um so some your the sadness your sadness is about to end it's going to put an end to your sadness oh look this could be a person coming into your life your king of cups energy that's right here it could be this um spy that we're always seeing in our readings cancer this jack of swords this person could be a gemini libra aquarius that's watching you i hear the word eavesdropping but with the page with the jack of swords i'm getting the energy of you're on top of your game you're thinking clearly you know you're out of the rut a bit you know you have more faith you can stand up for yourself more you know what you want you have more willpower you're more defiant i just heard the word male malevolent something like that it's it's actually good this word because it's that strange eerie part of you that's your magic your mystery that you can tap into and it has something to do with your faith your courage your spirituality malevolence man, man, manevol that movie all right it's that feeling of having a hidden gift a talent a power that you can tap into this source a darkness a dark feeling maybe only you alone know about this stream this this place but things are about to change tell me more about the jack of swords jack of spades energy what is jack of spades watching for oh something new to arrive a new beginning a new feeling a new idea a new person new a new desire what is the ace it's like someone is hoping for something new and I hear expected, new and expected. So maybe something took a while to come to you. 
but it is on its way with the six of wands energy which is movement flow growth prosperity you know transformation evolution flourishing and i feel like um if you could be just on a journey following in your heart space and then you do come upon roadblocks you know hurdles that's fine i feel like it could be at one it could be very tough for you but you're gonna get through it because there is a gift arriving for you that's going to cause you to come more into alignment with your well-being and your spirituality it's going to sharpen your focus i feel something about this this mirror energy it's telling me maybe you should um, try to change your perception of self at this moment and see blessings surrounding you now to try to kind of like transform your emotions so you are expecting better you know you can sleep better um nourish yourself nurture yourself tell me more about the king of cups so the king of cups is coming with this sword the 11 energy the mirror vibration the visualization the word the higher consciousness so i feel like this is this blessing the word that you need to hear now that you have the power to really stand in an upper hand position of in your life right now to take control to take the driver's seat or I feel like fly your own plane because you don't want a plane to go down, you know. Don't let this plane crash. You're going to have to really sharpen up and become gone with the wind to kind of fabulous know this is your life. So as you jump into the pilot seat and you're going to save yourself, I feel like it's so beautiful with the Ace of Swords energy. Um, because you're going to, it's going to steer your life or move yourself out of doubt and frustration and get yourself back on track. That's how I feel. You're not going to crash and burn. Never. I don't feel like that at all. All right. And I feel like while you get this plane, which is your life back in control, like you feel like, yes, you're holding the gear stick, you're turning the wheel, you're like enjoying this, you're enjoying flying, you know? enjoying living traveling feeling good and i feel like you've even become very masterful of the speed bumps of the obstacles as they come you're having more fun with the nine of cups energy i like that for you and this tool that you're realizing you have which is your gift is the gift of breath of air because remember we're talking about flying through air so it's the gift of breath of um knowing that even with one breath you can transform your entire perspective i am open for personal readings so please check out the description box for more information if you're interested in getting a personal reading for me question is starting at only 11 11 all right so if this reading is resonating with you and you need to ask at least you need one more question or you need a little bit more clarity book a personal reading with me we start at 11 11 all right that's the price um or just email me email me let's see what we can work with for you also so let's see what the outcome for you is going to be you may be returning home or returning to a past love i do feel like someone wants to come back into you for, remember there's a part of this reading where i said this could be someone else's energy that feels like you moved away from them and now they're sad because they feel like they lost this beautiful connection now this one may want to move into you to return to you and say i love you i'm sorry this person is really sorry that's how i feel so very sorry they're hurt they're heartbroken they're suffering you know they feel like they've lost something someone you cancer that made them happy now this person could be watching you watching you behind your back i feel like like feel like this person have been watching you very closely like their eye was right on your back at one point mm -hmm. or is it that they stay up at nights and watch you on their phone watch you online i don't know all right 
what's to come for cancer what's to come for you is wow well, you're going to come in alignment with that twin flame energy as you're becoming this master remember you're becoming the pilot of your life the captain of the ocean right um your own ocean your own emotions and this is taking you into a state of abundance and i hear declaration of self of purpose all right in happiness see where you're landing you're landing this plane somewhere where's cancer landing seven see once again seven where's cancer landing this plane <laughs> maybe you're not ready to land it until maybe you're you're going to come into alignment with your soulmate i feel like you could be aligning with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius Mm, this person could be your soulmate or just someone that really 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 loves you i feel like at the end of the day you've progressed a lot with the seven seven energy here a lot of transformation and change about happening in your life you're enjoying life much more i feel much more laughter happiness um even in trying times because now you feel like there's a power with the power within you through your experiences to overcome any situation remember you were crashing and you saved yourself so because of that you've become so much more empowered so much more stronger so confident relying on yourself your your wisdom is growing your courage you're flourishing like i say and your pentacles are growing to match that you're becoming more creative and more expressive of yourself and you're getting rewards i feel like you do have angelic guidance that's surrounding you with the seven energy you could just be a July Cancerian um, strongly here. Only last messages the Cancer. This King of Swords, maybe someone, maybe I'm about money, someone that blocked you, someone that is interested in you, fire sign that watches you, thinks you're abundant, maybe wants to impregnate you. Literally, that's how I feel like this person feels, sees you as being single and radiant and beautiful. And immediately, I got the energy of them thinking of making you pregnant. Um, that's, maybe that's how they are thinking about you. That could be their consistent thought of you. <laughs> I feel like you may have blocked someone else. There's like despise or hate here are just really a stern, sharp focus to not let someone in or to focus on where you need to be. But there's something on the mind here that needs to be released and let go of. It can be like this. I, I do feel like there's a blockage. Could be mental or visual or energetic and wow if this blockage i feel someone could be sick sick this is how it feels like a like an illness let me see what i can do and you want to be well you may be looking at yourself in the mirror you do want to be well you feel stuck or like you don't know what to do to be well mentally physically spiritually even though you are the king of swords I feel like you could be sick because you have a lot of energy stirred up in you, maybe resentment. But you don't feel like you have resentment, but this energy could have just transformed into oil in your body, you know? Like it's been sitting in you for so long, this pent up energy, and it could be making you sick, heavy, just um, not feeling clear. Your pores need to be really... I'm getting the energy of oil. I can taste it in my mouth. I don't know if it could be blood... That needs to flow better. I feel oil. It's very thick. But it could be blood. So maybe it could be blood. You need blood work or to detox your blood. Like iron. I don't know if it is iron deficiency or too much iron. It tastes metallic. It tastes like... Um, I think I can help you, but I don't know. What do you want? 
you want to it's like a purge you want to be free listen it feels like you have a psychic thing and it's not you that's talking to me it's this psych it's this energy that wants to be free it is telling me that it just wants to be free that this pent up energy that feels like oil it wants to be free it's like a ghost that's trapped in there and it's just wailing at me saying i just want to be free it just wants to come out it's like globber it just wants to be out of you so let's see because you may be comfortable with this but it just mm -mm. this is this is big it can be something that's been implanted because it feels like it is intended there actively but this wants to exercise itself exercise it okay then it is done You're free. You are free. That's all it needs to just, it's free. It needs to be free to. This is so much cancer. It just feels like a second energy that is in you and the second energy wants to depart from you but it could be you that's not aware that you should purge it <sighs> listen it's like you've gotten so used to it oh. let's see you can see moss should I mention it Oh. But CMOS detoxes the body by removing harmful chemicals or toxins by um, absorbing heavy metal toxins from your body and also harmful mucous membranes so your body feels clear and light. And you're going to be able to power up from the inside out like Goku with the nine of pentacles energy here okay all right leaving this message here i wish you all the best in healing and in well-being cancer on your journey much love and blessings to you go outside in the sun uh work on your well-being internally breathe more connect with the earth Go to the water, get minerals from the ocean, connect with the plants. Yes, connect with the plants for you, that, the one I'm talking to that wants this healing. And I feel it's a physical and spiritual healing, mental too. And it is done. Oh my God. All right, I love you so much. Remember I said something is coming into you. Something is also clearing out, right? It's going to make you happy. Much love and guidance on your journey. Remember that you are all my darling. Hit the like button, please. Share the video with those you love and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. All of your support means so much to me. And I will continue to serve you. All right, so remember that you are all and all is within you, and I will see you in the next reading. Much love. Thank you.